Hi, I'm Steve Casely from CPT Nuggets, and this micro nugget is focused on project change management, the processes to be followed to document and have changes to your project pre-approved before any work is done on them. And the key to successful project change management is all, and I can't overemphasize, all changes need to be managed. But what is a change? A change to a previously approved fact. And that's a key consideration for change management. If you have a scope statement and you change and you present and have the scope statement approved and you change it, that's a change management. If you present a requirements document and it's approved and you change your requirement, that's change management. If you present a house blueprint and have it approved, that's change management. But change management does not apply to normal project refinements. You're meeting with your customer and you're trying to understand the requirement and you write interview notes. You present the interview notes, you review them, and you ident identify an error. That's not change management, that's routine process. You are working through the requirements. You have d documented a preliminary draft of your requirements, the preliminary draft of your blueprint, and you walk through that with your customer and the customer requests changes. That's not change management. That's routine project refinement. It's only after the facts are approved that we need to apply change management, but we need to apply change management in all instances. We need to apply change management for large, complex, costly, time intensive changes, and we need to implement change management for small, insignificant changes. We need to implement change management if we're increasing the magnitude of our project, and we need to implement change management if we're decreasing the magnitude of our project. And to quote from PMI's PMBOK guide, change management needs to be integrated. Change management needs to deal with all of the knowledge areas that we define as project management. So as we're processing, understanding, documenting a change, what impact does it have to the previously defined scope? What impact does it have to the timeline for the project? What impact does it have to the cost for the project? And in a lot of instances, people considering change stop at that. But we need to go, what impact does this have on the quality definition of the project? Will it change the HR complement? Do we need to change the team size? It, will it change the way we're communicating within the project? Does it change the risk profile or add or remove risks to the project? And finally, does it change what and how we're procuring for the project? Effective change management needs to be fully integrated and address all aspects of project management. So how do you make all of this happen? My suggestion is find a project change request template that's appropriate for your organization and apply it for all changes large and small, positive or negative, document the basic tombstone information for your project, document why the change has been requested, i.e. the business reason for the change, and probably capture who identified the, the requirement for the change, document exactly what the change is, how the change is gonna be implemented, and who did the analysis on that, document the all important impact that the change is gonna have on the cost for the project, and document any other ramifications that the change is going to have on the project. Is it going to change the schedule, the staffing, the risk, the procurement, the quality, or the communications? And who did that? And finally, most importantly, present the change document to the delivery organization and to the customer organization and have it approved and apply change management for all changes on your project. And having been on my soapbox that says all change needs to follow a proper change process, I agree with that, but I also want to offer to you a suggestion to make the minor changes much more palatable. Instead of having to fill out a Word document for every minor change, my recommendation is create something like a minor change log, and you simply say minor change log for this month, here is minor change number one. Here's the schedule impact. It's going to have a zero impact and it's going to have a $50 budget impact. Here's change number two. It's going to have a two day schedule impact and it's going to have a $300 
budget impact. Review these minor changes verbally with your customer, but don't go through the rigors of the, the proper change process form. Put it on the minor log. At the end of the month, total it up and present it to your project acceptor for formal approval at that point. And this should greatly ease the burden of rigorous change management in your process. But I encourage you to follow rigorous change process either through the formal template for the larger changes or this change log for the minor changes because proper change management helps us, the project manager, ensure that we're delivering only the work that the customer approves of and that we're not delivering work that was whims and hallway conversations or would it, would it be appropriate to consider it is Pro properly formalizing the process to ensure we get approval and we're only working on the work that the customer really wants us to. This concludes this micro nugget on project change management. I hope this has been informative for you and thank you very much for viewing.